everyone, and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. This is episode four. Last time we explored more of Kobo, had a bit of a run around before we got on track for the for the main quest, and we checked out Pai Loon Saloon, Grease's new place where he's been setting up shop, and like it's amazing. Like this place is so cool. There's so many great details here. There's lovely characters to talk to. We've been getting used to the customization as well in the game. It's all just been super enjoyable. Uh, we're going to take care of a pest problem while we also find some parts for the Mantis. Um, and uh, then we'll be able to be on our way, hopefully without trouble. But this is uh, this is Star Wars. This is also Cal's journey. So there will be trouble and it won't be pretty. Unfortunately, it seems to follow him wherever he goes. Go ahead, get the gyro and, you know, hurry back, be careful and... All the other warnings I used to give you to. Yeah, yeah. We'll be fine and all the things we used to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'll be fine. I guess fine's enough. I guess fine's enough. Oh, watch your step down there. Do me a favor, don't stir up any rats. Or ghosts. Or rat ghosts. I could do without extra problem for a day. Don't talk about ghosts in Star Wars. I, I need my Force ghosts. And I'll go on a rant about it. You know, that was my biggest disappointment. One of my biggest disappointments with the with the sequel trilogy was the lack of Force Ghosts when it was laid out in a silver platter ready for them to appear in Rise of Skywalker. Nothing. Voices instead. And it, and it still makes me sad to this day. Good high hopes for the Ahsoka series, though. Uh, my, my, dream, my dream interaction of... Luke and Ahsoka having their first meeting shown on screen. Luke and Anakin Skywalker force ghost interaction. Ahsoka and Anakin force ghost interaction. All of them interacting together at once. I need it. Desperately. Desperately. Um, don't talk about force ghosts in Star Wars, man. You'll send me. You'll send me off on a passionate tirade. It's been a while since I tidied up. So good luck down there, kid. That's not very reassuring. As compared to what Saw has you up to, this will be a walk in the park. I wonder if Saw's been trying to contact us. Uh, actually, I guess, um, I guess Bode would probably have made contact with Saw and, um, let us know the situation. But then he wouldn't know that Cal's in, in trouble either. So, um, might assume that we've just turned tail at this point, especially because, um, we we have given we have given Bode a tracker on our ship actually, so he'd actually know where we are. No, a, a, did we give him a tracker or we gave him what did we give him? Yeah, we gave him something as like sort of a guarantee that he'll get his he'll get his payment. We'll we'll see we'll see what happens once we get off of this planet, huh? Smugglers tunnels. Old smuggling tunnels, huh? Grease always kept a few secrets up his sleeve. I am really enjoying uh, Dual Stance, and I'm so happy that it's in the game. Again, I just want to draw attention to how grateful I am that they've done that, because I loved Single Stance, and Double Blade Lightsaber is is always amazing. I'm a certified Darth Maul fanboy, fanboy. but like, there's just something really cool and refreshing about being able to, to dual wield. And I don't know what's come over me recently with uh, how much I enjoy the dual wielding sabers. There's just been a lot of moments where I'm like, I'm really liking the ability to, to dual wield and seeing it in uh, Star Wars media as well. You know, we've got Ahsoka's dual wielding. We've got um, Keller and Beck's dual wielding. We've got the cheeky scene in the Kenobi series where Vader has a little bit of um, dual wielding when he's playing around with um, with Reva. It's just like this. It's, it's great. I'm a big fan. No way out. One of several tunnels routing beneath Pylune Saloon. Proximity to the landing pad would have made this passage ideal for smuggling goods in and out of the cantina, hidden from prying and curious eyes. I assume we'll probably do the um, double-bladed... Oh! <laughs> I assume we'll probably do the double-bladed saber. Are these what spook grease? At some point again. Oh, buddy, you hurt yourself on the on the shield, huh? Okay, bud. Have you been spooking Grease down here? 
Hey, little guy. Looks angry. Got them angry eyes. They really get you by surprise, there's one thing. <clears throat> they are well camouflaged. Careful around here, bud. Nobody's used these tunnels for a long time now. Oh, of course, you're gonna make me go down there anyway, aren't you? You're gonna go make me go down there for stuff and things. Gonna avoid it, but then you made me do it. <clears throat> nice. Surely, cow. Thank you. Double backflip. <clears throat> Dusty and abandoned. Scraps, huh? Leave it to Grease to take another person's junk and add more junk. Can I do anything about this from this side? Maybe at some point. Get through. Do I expect anything less at this point when I encounter a door? I love the BD visor. I forgot. I forgot about that. Oh, also, how cool is this? Just realized. Default view, customization view, because based on whatever like head you've put on him, I suppose. It changes his viewfinder. Is that it? Conveniently, the one part we need out in the open, standing out from everything else. Oh no, BD. Oh, ow! That was a brutal uh, head smack, dude. BD kind of forgot that he had. Uh, Never look when you can leave. Hey? BD kind of forgot he's got boosters. Uh. Oh. Sooner we get to Greece, the sooner we can. We should check this out. Whoa. I know Zephyr ruins when I see them. Yeah. Huh. Of all places, right? All is as the force wills it. That interesting thing that we saw just outside of this the saloon, the big cube object. I, I genuinely feel like that's going to have some importance. It looks too fancy. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Are these Zepho ruins? Or are they just like... It's, it looks like it's got a similar aesthetic. Um, shall I do a different skill tree? Split the incoming bolt and reflect in an additional target. Ah, oh, so instead of... They've got double reflection, two-fold reflection, but you can also change one bolt into two as well. That's cool. Hold X after a basic attack. Powerful overhead swing. Oops. Oh, you can re yeah, resetting all skills. Nice. Cool. Aerial assault. Oh, press Y while in the air. Straight down a target. Two-fold reflection. Let's 
just max out our health immediately. Let's just do that. It's too tempting. Let's are these going. are these Zephyr ruins? If these are Zephyr ruins, this feels like a mighty convenience for um, for Cal's journey on Kobo of all places. Jedi training grounds. But it might be just something else. Older. I think if it was Zephyr related, Cal would probably mention it pretty quick. Probably could have wall run that, but for some reason I just decided to close the gap. Maybe it's just in like the Fallen Order or like, you know, the Jedi graphical style. All the ruins kind of look similar. Yeah, I don't know. There's, there's a lot that looks similar to. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some answers in this place. Oh, that's great transition. Honestly, I'm really happy with the with the way that you're able to navigate the environments, like the way that they mix up wall jumps and like wall climbing and grapple points and like all of it together and like the zip lines and it's not like just one after the other that's kind of shitty and boring. It's like it's fun to see how they've structured the environments and how you can navigate it. Got something? Let's see what you got. Disaster. Huge masses of rock fell through the roof and slammed into this subterranean sanctuary, indicating intense seismic activity above ground. The materials here look really interesting. Power still running down here. Chamber of Duality. Jedi Chamber. Chamber of Duality. fuck this is just underneath Kobo okay Grease do you realize what you're whoa do you realize what you're doing right now Grease careful VD Oh, that's a that's the key artifact that Ravis was pissed about. But is this the real one? As soon as I could, I'm sorry it has come to this. Will it be a complete memory purge? No. no. Only what the council demanded. Then at least I shall remember you. I am ready. What is your name, droid? I am ZNA4, of course. How may I serve the order? Z. Tell me, Tell me how, how to navigate, navigate the Kobo, Kobo Abyss. Abyss. I have no information on that in my memory banks. Master Creed, you are aware the Republic has issued a full scale evacuation order. I am. That is why I have a very important task for you, Z. Take this. A tuna? Oh, what a fine model. No. The key to Tannalor is in that array. If you do not hurry, I fear it will be lost forever. I 
May the force be with you. It is that thing. It is that object. The key to Tanalore. I think this droid has been here for hundreds of years. The High Republic, dude. The High Republic. Your name Z? Yes, it is. How do you Oh no! I can't. I've been trapped for. How long has it been? I'm Cal. This is BD. We're gonna help you. Pleasure to meet you both. Some help would be most appreciated. Holy shit. Okay. High Republic. What I will say is there was a lot of High Republic theorizing with uh, a particular character shown in uh, a couple of trailers based on his robes or outfit. And that is seemingly very, very likely now. And that is really cool. I cannot wait to see how that is going to factor into this story. Um, I am really interested in the High Republic era, but I haven't really engaged with it much. I've listened to the Light of the Jedi uh, audiobook, which I think was the very first book that we got to kick off the High Republic era. Um, and it was and it was pretty cool. There's um, It's hard to really, I guess, invest in a new era of star wars um without a lot of visual i'm a very visual guy so like audiobooks and novels and stuff are really hard obviously you can imagine it for yourself uh but like it's it's quite hard without um that visual media i think that made it really easy for me to get into the old republic stuff with the with the games uh with the kotor games and love that so much uh and i like can't believe that i missed out on that era growing up after playing it being like this was right in front of me the whole time. And I never got into this. And I have this same opportunity for the High Republic to get into it now because it's kind of fresh and new over these past few years. And I just haven't been able to yet because there's a lot to take in, like a lot of books, a lot of comics. But we're getting the Acolyte show, which is great. That's exciting because that's going to be a great visual exposure to the High Republic era. There's supposed to be that Star Wars Eclipse game or something that probably won't come out for a really long time. That's also supposed to be High Republic, but it's a really promising uh, era of Star Wars. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite, quite excited. Um, I did not expect this to be dropped in just all of a sudden. We've dro dropped into a Jedi chamber and, and it turns out this is very important during the High Republic era. So very, very, very cool. Um, information into how to go through like that, uh, that abyss in in there this game is version of the kessel run uh, that information has been wiped from z's memory banks z is a droid from the high republic era tasked by jedi master centauri kree to recover the key to tanalore she immediately takes to cal although she questions his unconventional attire amazing um droid out of time so ravis is after this key because it's the same thing that he had but he had a fake very cool and it's interesting to see what kind of pieces you can put together in your mind when you know certain information like that like we've seen this character i didn't know that he was ravis but I've, we've seen this character with this peculiar person that we don't know yet that looks like they were from the high republic uh with those robes so it's because we've seen that in that reveal trailer, there was the, there was this figure that was like in like, like back to tank or like stasis or like some sort of, you know, tank. You were like connect, connecting the dots that way. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen once we actually experience it for ourselves instead of bits and pieces that have been shown uh, from a trailer. But let's have a look at this. Um, one of several tunnels routing beneath Pylune Saloon, proximity to the landing pad. Oh, we've already read that. It's fine. The High Republic. 
was an era of expansion and exploration, with Jedi helping lead the push to discover the greater galaxy and fold willing planets into the galactic community. The dangers that lay on the edges of their understanding, however, would prove a constant challenge. Centauri Cree. The fact that we've actually got like proper character models as well for the High Republic sort of Jedi attire is so beautiful because they had such a regal look about them. Like a lot of a lot of gold, a lot of like whites and all of that instead of what we uh, got to experience more in the prequel era. As meteors streak across the Kobo sky, Centauri Kree charges the droid ZN A4 or Z to recover the key to Tanalor from the forest array. Unbeknownst to Z, Master Kree has just purged all knowledge of how to navigate the Kobo Abyss from the droid's memory banks. Very cool. That's so exciting. Also, Cal, you have a lightsaber. If uh, if the droid's trapped in this wiring, cut it and then untangle it with your hands. Of course, we're not going to do that because we have to do something else entirely. Okay, not Zepho related. As soon as I saw it, that's kind of just where my brain went immediately because there's a lot of similar sort of aesthetic um, to how this has been put together. Like, I don't know, there's a lot of Zepho architecture. There's like a lot of like, there's similar like curvature and like style, but it must just be like some similarities. But once you start getting deeper and deeper and seeing stuff like this, you're like, this is new. Some sort of crystallized mineral sandy energy bridge and it looks like it's powered by you are a these orbs or I think your is completely shot. not completely Z I'm a Jedi all right but you're not even wearing the proper robes I'm more of a poncho guy <laughs> then where's the poncho my boy where is it all right so we've got a magical orb that will extend bridges. This looks like I need two to get this one going. But I fucking love Star Wars, dude. And I love that they're bringing in the High Republic era and having it also tie into the current stories we're being told as well. It's very clever. Classic. Some things never change. We've still got the, the power cables, but different. Then you can reach the green controls. I think of so many other years who really knows. This droid's got more than a screw loose. <laughs> what was that? I uh, said, hold tight, Z. Data disk. Okay, hold on. Uh, where do we see that? Um, hang on, I'm just thinking. Where was uh, inventory? Data disk. Va continue exploring the galaxy to discover this treasure and who finds it valuable. Can I just throw it? Yeah. Just take it out with me. Interesting. Now you're just looking at all this like cool ancient technology stuff and you're like, how does this stuff work? What was its purpose, you know? Well done. I'll have you free soon, Z. Take your time. I've only been pinned here for a while. Hmm. I don't have your name in my data banks. When did you pass the trials? Never took them. I was knighted in the field. And what was the reason for this flagrant breach of protocol? It's a long story. Huh. Yeah, let me just cut you free. Never mind. God, it's so cool. All right, I'm going to take a quick break uh, before we proceed, but I am i can't wait. I can't wait. All right, I've had some lunch. Time to get back into it. Ooh, magical footsteps. Did we manage to pry the uh, the key from the the droid's hands, or we're waiting until we free it? Right. All right. Yeah, it's still got it. So we don't have it. Well, when I was saying looks like big holocron, I wasn't too far off, was I? Because it's still Jedi High Republic related. It's got that like 
holocron looking symbol on the front there. And there's a key to access it. Big holocron just dropped. You know what? I'm going to be super annoying and nitpicky about this crate. And I kind of wish that uh, it was like an ancient box or a chest or something like that, you know, because we're down in like this area that seemingly has not been interacted with in hundreds of years, right? I think I would really love if there was like the chests in this kind of area changed to reflect that because this just is weird by comparison. You're like, these are everywhere in the world, you know what I mean? And they're not ancient chests. I guess they are now, if you want to come up with an excuse of how it's here. <laughs> but yeah, if they were like older chests to open instead, I think that would be really cool. Like they've changed the power cable looking things to be very fitting for the environments. Ooh, oh. Fuck. I swear that the cable was um, attached to this device. Weird. I swear that the, the wire that trapped Z How did that untangle you? Okay. Thank you, Cap. Don't mention it. Oh, you'll excuse me. I've been delayed long enough. Oh. Huh? Not now. Hold it together. You need an oil bath. Uh, mind if I take a look? Well, I, I must admit, I am in need of repair. <laughs> Z. It's Tanalor. Hmm. A planet hidden within the Cobalt Abyss. Hmm. It's home to a Jedi Temple. A bastion of the Order's light on the galactic frontier. But is that what my master hoped Tanalor might become? That should do it for now. Gotta figure a way out of this place. Well, I can help with that. It's this. Was it that? No. Oh! Yes, it is this way. Follow me. Don't need to oil up those joints at all. Now High Republic see. droids built a different. Master Free designed these to train Jedi. I remember this. Don't recall what it does, however. Master Kree had a brilliant mind. Do you know her, Cal? Can't say I do. No matter, but I think she would have liked you. Awesome, okay. Um... I need to get out of here. I am very fortunate you came along when you did. Yeah, you could have been down here forever. My instant test was I was like, I want to pull one of these off if C walks on the bridge and see what happens. You can't pull them off when <laughs> C's on there. Um, very curious. High Republic droids built different. They don't need to be, uh, they don't need to have an oil bath. Their joints do not rust or dry over hundreds of years. They're fine. They're just walking. Just needed a little bit of a repair after being crushed by whatever that was. So the seismic activity that did damage to all of this place, we can assume was whatever the hell we saw in that little psychometry flashback sequence of the High Republic, where it looks like there was like a moon or something uh, exploding in orbit. So this Jedi, while Kobo is maybe under attack or something's happening, has desperately tried to get uh, the, the Jedi Temple, a Jedi Temple on a planet, uh, Tanalor, hidden within the Kobo Abyss, uh, any record of it erased. Very, very cool. Um, and we got a new perk as well. So let me just quickly take a look if I press the right sequence of buttons. Um, 
we got resilience block meter is increased nice so we can equip that at a meditation spot Oh, cool. What's it like? Tanalo? Oh, what a wondrous place. How do I get there? Navigate the Cambodis. That must be the knowledge your master perched from your memory banks. Well, she must have had her reasons. We gotta do the castle run with the Mantis. The Kobo Abyss run in less than 12 parsecs. Oh, shit. It's this, this is it. This was the elevator. Okay, damn. Yes. Don't worry. You're not alone. I'll help you get back on your feet. I might not be wearing the proper attire, but now I am certain you are a Jedi. Come on. Cool. Okay. Well, it has seemingly. <laughs> this is amazing. Droid out of water scenario. Amazing. Um, all right. So we know what this is now. Mystery solved. I thought it was going to be like something cool. It could be an item or something hidden or ancient stored inside. But it turns out this is literally the, the way back up, uh, which I guess makes a lot of sense. And it's like been built over over time. You can see like it looks like structure was built around it. And then parts of it have like come apart. I don't know. This is great, though. I love that there's just this droid that's like, Ooh, what's that? What's this? What the hell's going on? You know? Hey, fellas. How long you been together? Too long. We were one of the first people here and both tried scouting for Priory. Had zero idea what we were doing. Couldn't find anything. Then I remembered I hate the outdoors. <laughs> and I got a sunburn on my gastrodermis. Not fun. <laughs> Then I caught sight of the most pathetic, bumbling prospector ever to walk the planet. Rumsey Forlow. Me too. Of course, we both started making fun of clumsy Rumsey. I laughed at Gulu Zingers. And I at Guido's. And we've been stuck together ever since. Because we shared something special. Rumsey was a loser. Still puts a smile on my face. They were fated to be together with their names. Gulu and Guido. Amazing. A cantankerous old timer and his lifelong partner, a cantankerous old timer, spend all day, every day, lounging around in front of the local saloon. They roast, joke about, and tease everyone and everything that dares cross into their field of view. Cantankerous old timers. Something you need? Eh. Great dialogue there. Eh. All right, well, I guess we bring the gyro part to Grease. Are we going to have uh, a droid in our crew? Because that's very cool if we end up have, adding a droid to the Mantis. Because we've got BD. But adding a High Republic era looking... Not, I wouldn't say protocol droid, but it could fill that kind of role, you know? In our space crew. Hey, Cal! Glad you came to Kobo, Cal. You're a hard worker, aren't you? And always putting others before yourself. How can you tell? Smudge of dirt on your pants, a whiff of adrenaline. Your eyes dart for danger, alert. I call it hunter's eyes. To trap game, a hunter refines her ability to observe. But for the record, your friendly demeanor don't fool me one bit. That right. Oh, yeah. You're a natural hunter, and you damn well know it. Who taught you to hunt, Mosey? Well, yeah, I grew up in a large family. My siblings and I competed with one another. For attention, praise, food sometimes. 
had to be the strongest to stand out. Sounds intense. Yeah, Mama was hardest on me. Always pointing out a mistake, criticizing my techniques. That must have toughened you up. It likely did, but I've come to resent it. Probably the reason why I flung myself here. I barely knew my parents. Yeah. Well, that ain't always a bad thing now, is it? Mosey is jacked, by the way. Look at those arms. God damn. She a tough wrangler. Be seeing you. Well, this looks like left... Now that we know what we're getting ourselves into in terms of, I guess, what Kobo used to be hundreds of years ago, you can look at stuff like that and be like, I wonder if the, that has been a part of the environment for quite some time and that's some sort of Jedi-looking-ass stuff. Very cool. There's so much around here that we haven't even checked out yet before returning to, to Grease. I doubt I'm able to just force pull down that drawbridge. Oh, there's Bedlam Raiders just chilling. So close to town. Cialia Sandwich. Oh, nice. Oh, do you see me holding down the pull and it continued to drag him and, and stun the meter? That's amazing. Meanwhile, that BD blows itself up. Get fed to the fucking... Get fed. Yep. That's what I was... I was going to try and force pull him and drop him in there anyway. There you go. Goes to do the aerial attack and then and then just attacks the cow. What are you doing? Why are you like this, buddy? Aerial attack, and then we fell down. I love how he puts away the sabers when they're like in dual stance. I'm assume I'm gonna. Oh. So I can get up a steep thing like this, but then I just automatically slide down other ones. Okay. I guess it's not muddy and slippery. Get out here. Well, I'm over here, buddy. Take you out. Nice. Am I allowed to do that? Probably not, but I'm, I'm doing it anyway. probably another way for me to jump up here. Around here somewhere. We'll meditate here so I can unlock this for fast travel. All set, BD. I could have just gotten up this way, I think. Imagine if I had, like, um, a weapon. I don't know, like, let's say, like, hypothetically, it would be cool if we had a weapon, like a laser sword or something, and it would be, like, really cool and probably helpful to, like, cut through, um, like, doors or gates or... You know, something that a lightsaber could do. Sorry, <clears throat> lightsaber? Laser sword? You know, I don't know. It seems like that would be... Like, you can't you see a gate, and you're like, I could just maybe cut this open if I had, like, a laser sword or something, you know? Pretty crazy. Okay, buddy. Oh, I forget that I need to hold that down. What? Oh, it was an unblockable attack. And obviously, the longer you hold it down, the more your force drains. Do 
tactical pants. So now that we can see, now we can see that when we were downstairs in that area with that chest, there was only one chest down there and then we already got up, but still. I would have appreciated them like making it an older looking chest or something like that. Or just not even having it in there at all. You know, and put it somewhere else. It's a nitpick, but it's an honest one. Ooh, hello, new beastie. Look at this guy. This is an actual dinosaur. Hello? Star Wars Triceratops. Oh! Oh, I can use the... Is it blue? Because I can use the force on it? Yeah! And then it's exposed the underbelly. That's great. Love that. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Hey, CD. Nice finisher. I, I swear that that Rancor that we fought must have had a finisher move available for it when it was like bent down, but I missed my opportunity. Hopefully there's another Rancor out there somewhere. A Bilemore. The large, thick-hided bile moor has made a home amongst Kogo's many crags, caves, and crevices. When disturbed, they react fiercely with kicks, bites, spits, and charges. Their hard exterior is resistant to most conventional weaponry, though there are several more tender spots that can be exploited. Nice. Waterfall pathway, there we go. Z's just having a look around for now. Uh, walking around getting to know the locals and we are going off gallivanting. Oh, hello. Oh, <gasps> dude, droid gunship. Just dropping off droids. Amazing. We can't get in the tree. Yeah, we don't need a tree. I can get up here anyway without the tree. Oh, there's stormtroopers here. Why'd you... Okay, just automatically switch targets. Let me finish my first target first, will you? Oh, the galaxy will know our story. <laughs> Sorry, what? I feel like we're going to need Z for this. Yeah, definitely High Republic era ruins. Corroding. Where's this go to? Oh, there. A shard. Let's trade it at Doma Shop. Oh. Well, now we know where we can trade that stuff. At Doma's Shop. That's our right vendor. Okay. Ah, then we've got the tactical shirt. Let's take off the jacket so I can actually see. Tactical shirt. Oh yeah, okay. It's long sleeve shirt. It's all right. Cool. Weird seeing Cal's... Cal has a tattoo! It's weird seeing his exposed arms. Cal's got a fucking tatty. So sick. All right, bud. There is photo man. Let's get let's get a look at this. Get a look at this bad boy. Just zoom in on the crotch region here. Um huh. 
don't know what in particular it is, but I don't recognize it. Also, photo mode, very happy. Whenever you got photo mode, very happy. And it's one of my favorite types of photo modes too, because it's the one where you're not bound to your character, you know? I like being able to have the freedom to to look around. This it also makes exploration really fun because you can go and be like, ooh, what if I just put my camera up here? You know what I mean? You get a nice little angle on this whole place. So we should check out down here. This uh, you can't go forever with photo mode though, so I can see that there's a chest there. <laughs> photo mode allows you to do some like recon. You just have to like photo mode, you have to just assume is like BD has like a little probe that he shoots up and gives you tactical recon advantage, you know? That's what that is. That's BD doing a little scout for us. We're going to be changing looks so much in this, um, in during this playthrough, which is hilarious. There's just, there's going to be, there's going to be a lot of very frequent changes to the, to the outfits. Can't wait for what our next haircut's going to be. Oh, melee, melee battle droids. They got staffs. Let's check it out. A melee battle droid. As the backbone of Separatist infantry, B-1 battle droids were typically outfitted with standard E-11 blaster rifles. The B-1 droids of Kobo, however, can often be found wielding makeshift batons and reconfigured tactical programming. In this way, the Bedlam Raiders created a more irregular, threatening army, while also compensating for munitions lost during the Lucre Hulk's long rest. Kobo Swamp. Is it an... E I don't think that's an E11, right? Isn't that the E11 is the Stormtroopers <clears throat> rifle, is it not? The battle droids have a different blaster. I think. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's also just all the same blaster in a different period of time. Who knows? Secret waterfall, I see the glow. I see the glow. Ooh, what the hell? This is strange. Um what? Am I having a vision? Am I having a force vision? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Fractured resolve. I'm being timed. What is happening here? Oh god, what the fuck? Ugh. What the? Oh, I need to... I need to make sure I'm on the right side of that. What the? Okay. Um, what is going on? So you gotta time this right to make sure you're on the right side. Oh, and I did not time it right at all. Oh, dude, there's a Lucre Hulk. What is uh, not a Lucre Hulk? Goddamn Venator. Why did I say Lucre Hulk? Venator. Oh, shit. I just realized what it is. It only ch it changes when I jump. It only changes when I jump. Even and double jumps factor into it as well. Okay. God. That took me a little while to figure out what was going on there. Oh, fuck. 
I should have done a double jump and I would have been fine. This is so weird. Random, like, challenges. Oh, no. Now that I know that it's tied to my jumping, it just makes it funny when I fuck it up. And then I guess you can, uh, what the fuck? It was, it was collapsing. And then I guess you can make it, um, just stand still. But also some of the platforms break, like these ones. Oh, I can jump when I'm on that surface. I'm making silly mistakes with the jumping. Which is just so funny. I jumped a bit too soon there. Should have just waited it out. I feel the pressure of being timed, even though I don't even know what I'm being timed for. Oh my god. It's going to take a while for my brain to adjust to the fact of not jumping for just a second. Just a second longer if I could just not jump when this comes through. Here we go. I timed that one, right? Oh no! Ah! And instead of double jumping and going across to the side, all I needed to do was just not do that. Just wait. Just wait, mate. The double jump is invaluable for doing, like, quick changes. Okay. God damn. What did I complete? A fractured resolve. In 30 seconds. First try, too. It was unbelievable skill on display today. What do we get as a reward for that? I don't know, VD. Skill point. There's an echo in the force, but wounded. Fragmented. Like it was missing something. Whatever mm. I did, it seems to have helped. Secret, like... Force Echo Fragment Thingies. Okay. That's cool. There's a lot of secrets behind waterfalls. This game is my wet dream. I already got something. Did I get something behind you already? Maybe. I don't know. Caves behind waterfalls, regardless, my favorite thing. This game does not shy away from it. Something catch your eye? A, oh, Turgle's shiny shell. Outpost residents have wearily attested Turgle's elation of having found a particularly remarkable shell and his subsequent despair as having lost it. This appears to be that shell, though it is by no means provable nor worthy of further investigation. Okay. So that's why he's called a Turgle, because it is like a turtle. I was wondering why they would go for Turgle when he's a frog. Apparently he he's a frog, frog with a shell. But it does not warrant further investigation, apparently. Things being just outside of uh, jumping height for me to get up there. Actually, it looks like I can get up over this way. thought it, that would have been something. Oh. 
just too high. I'm like, they kind of play tested this whole area. There's got to be a way up. Where's my where's my super force jump cow? So obviously we just need to get on this beam, which the game doesn't want us to do, and then you jump. God damn! All right, we're not getting up there. There's definitely a lot more to discover in this place though, which is very exciting. Again, re return visits, you know? Return visits. Uh, let's have a chat with Doma. Apparently uh, we can cash in some things at a store. What can I do with? Doma. Got a workbench here. Oh, this is so cool. And you've got a back entrance. It's a pleasure to have you. Oh my god, what is that? Is that like one of those things from uh, that was out the front of the Jabba the Hutt's castle in Return of the Jedi? Where's Turgolet? Shop and talk. Well. Take a look, you'll find the finest components in sundries this side of the outer rim. Now that's a Domodendra guarantee. Here Domodendra. A guarantee. That's right. Shop's built on trust and quality, and I aim to keep it that way. Doug Dimadone's Doma. Doma Depot. Hmm. Tempting. <gasps> oh, okay. Hold on a minute. Mysterious key code will open the locked door in Doma's shop. You can get haircuts. Headband? Oh my god, okay. So we can buy cosmetics with priorite shards. The hawk. Oh, that is terrible. Buzz cut. Some representation. Realistic me cow. Let's go. Shaggy. Windswept. Oh, that's great. He's a handsome fella. Do you really think that this is kind of funny? Like, Cameron Monaghan... Um, is that his last name? Monaghan? Or am I getting that mixed up with Don Monaghan? Um, Cameron. Cal Kestis. Do you think he could, he could just be like, test out some hairstyles for his, for himself in real life? He's like, what would I look like with this, with this hairstyle or this facial hair? He could test him, uh, test his own, uh, fashion out. It's hilarious. He could just, he could just go around in his own life now wearing Star Wars clothes and it just, it would just work. The Corsair, the Frontier, all of these look so cool. I really kind of wish that it wasn't like a hologram image so I could get a much better view, but I guess it ties in with, it's realistic. Ooh, that's a nice one. Outrider, okay, that's nice. Bandolier, minimalist look over the top of a shirt. Commander, oh, it's a shirt, so it doesn't take off my jacket. Oh, the training shirt, let's go. <laughs> We can do the Luke on Dagobah look. Outrider shirt, Frontier shirt, Frontier pants. Dude, ah, the so the Outrider stuff's cool. You get some like, it's like a mixture of like weird some like some clone trooper gear. A clone pauldron maybe. That's nice. Music track. Nartrat. These music tracks can be played at Pylon Saloon, provided the jukebox is functioning. Oh my god. Rumble Droid. Sugan Asena. Who mourns for Taris? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Who mourns for Taris? Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. It is Taris from Night's Old Republic, right? That's Taris? The Yeah, <laughs> dude. What? You buy or I thought so. I just wanted to make sure because I was just like, um, it's been a little while since I played Knights of the Old Republic one, so I just wanted to make sure that was the actual correct name. It is. Who mourns for Taris? 
Uh, in canon, guys, Taris no longer exists. There's a there's a point for Knights of the Old Republic being able to be canon. I hope the remake is if they just come out and say that it's like the a canon version of events that fits in with everything. Like Old Republic is so separate from everything else that like there's nothing that really contradicts it right now. I'm pretty sure. We've got 16 got shards. I've got the We've got 16 shards. I feel like we should straight up just unlock the locked door in the shop and then maybe get something else. Um, I kind of want to get like the that. these Outrider pants. These Outrider pants seem really cool because we got like the armor. And I like the Outrider jacket as well. But I'm really liking the bomber jacket. Got the extended moustache. The handlebars, baby. <laughs> the fucking handlebars. Uh, I'm sure we'll find much more Priorite shards. It's just like, what do I want right now? Let's get the, let's do the key code. We'll do the key code and then... Kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm torn right now. I might get him the windswept hair. That's one of my favorites. I know, it's good, right? I want the I want to get the windswept hair and the moustache combo together. But I am eyeballing these pants as well. All right, we're getting the we're getting the windswept hair. Could use this. I love that one too. Yeah, some good for nothing raider triggered the security on my storeroom door. And now it's locked shut. Maybe your little droid can use this encrypted backup code to get it open. Yeah, this is a good look with the hair. I like it. Now looking mighty fashionable. My you unlocked it. Feel free to take whatever you can make use of. I feel like when there's a ah Camtono ice cream container. I feel like whenever you have like the mysterious code with everything else, it's worth it. And it is. It's a steam upgrade. That's worth it, baby. You never have enough of these. And this is one that just looks great with everything, you know? What a look. It just makes it so exciting because everyone can just be playing as their own, like, cow of what they want cow to look like. And, like, what I think is very cool about it is, like, it's been five years, right? Cal could look any number of ways, however you want him to. Like he's gonna have his own canon appearance, but like you get to customize him and be like, "This is what he looks like for me five years later." Hey there. I'm trying to customize my sabers a little more. I want to have like some matching ones because it was looking kind of like it was just a mismatched mess of the Skywalker saber and Obi Wan saber, and I want to like want to mix it up a bit. I want to have a matching, but like not just all of the same parts. And it's really funny look at, like when I look through paint jobs and stuff is I realize that I'm I'm very simplistic, right? Is people there are people that are like there's wood grain in here, which is amazing. Like it's so cool. Like there's a bunch of different colors and things that you can put in here and I'm like looking through all of them and I'm just like I don't know, we'll probably we might change it up if we unlock some other colors like later on. But I'm like looking at it and I'm like going, you know what? Like I'm very simple. I love my, like, my sabers that are just very much like silver, like that sort of me metallic set with a couple of like flared pieces. Not necessarily the, uh, the very bright colors that you can find here. Let's have my Jedi blue saber. The white is actually quite nice. Um, it's just weird to have like a solid, like matte paint job on a saber, I think. Very strange. Um, I'd love to get to some sort of like wood grain saber though. That like that has a like a cool appeal to it. It's kind of nice. Um, but this is what we're gonna rock with, and 
as much as I have been knocking it because it's my favorite saber color, like it's my personal saber choice, we are going to rock the, the green. I wish it was a darker green, but alas, I want to rock what I represent and flow with the most. Really enjoying the yellow. Uh, and it's funny because like, I think every color in this game is great. They're all great and they're all perfect, except for the green, where I just want it to be a little bit more of a darker green. The blue is perfect, and they even get the cyan for like the the more of like the the washed out blue look from you know a new hope for the saber. Give me give me a darker green, you know, give me a darker green. But we're gonna rock the green. We've changed up our appearance a little bit. Um, you know, we've been adjusting it over time. Now I got the green the new saber green is just the most satisfying i don't know whenever i am using a green saber or a green saber is involved i just feel safe i feel safe everything feels nice with a green saber involved you know that's good now i'm wondering Ooh, actually if we take a look I wonder if power is working between these places now. Can we go in here? Nope. I was wondering if now that we've had like a cutscene happen, um, stuff around here might actually work. I guess we'll we'll wait on that. Maybe it's tied to this, which we um, can't yet do anything about. Something for later. Let's go into the bar with uh, with Z, shall we? And Grease is going to be like, "Wow, kid, you really uh, you really changed since I last saw you again." I'm not a Bethlehem Raider spy. I'm a friend of Cal Kestis. Ooh. Yep. Told you he had our locator, didn't he? Cantina. I don't know anybody named Cal Kestis. Hey, Grease. Oh, that Cal Kestis. Found the gyro. <laughs> you made it. Good to see you, Cal. Grease Dritus, this is Bodakuna. He was on Coruscant. Wouldn't have made it out alive without his help. Oh, all right. Hi, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another bed available. Wait a minute. Another one? Cal, you have a very bad habit of picking up strays. <laughs> I am ZNA4, humble servant to the Jedi Order. Oh, I think you haven't broken the news yet. The bow. Trapped underground. I've never seen this design before. This droid almost looks like an antique. Did you find anything down there worth credits? Credits? <laughs> Cal, you have saved me, but I must ask more to steal. Oh, here it comes. Master Centauri ordered me to open the forest array, but... Given my condition, I cannot fulfill that duty. Please. If I fail my mission, the key to Tannalor may be lost forever. Wait a minute. Did you just say Tannalor? You've heard of it? Yeah, it's an old prospector's legend about a lost world filled with treasure. Maybe this droid proves it's more than a myth. Could be worth checking out. Yeah, but first, I gotta fix the menace before the raiders snatch it. I'll escort you out there. Watch your back while you make the repairs. Huh. Is he as tough as he looks? Next to Seer, he's the best marksman I've ever met. Okay. We'll take care of the menace. I'll go see what's in the forest. Thank you, Cal. As soon as I need no operating order, I will join you in the forest parade. Onward! Uh, Z. <laughs> Whoa! While they're all shallying forth, why don't you ease up on the thrusters? Come along. I can get you tuned up, shined up, and, uh, <clears throat> caught up on the state of the galaxy. Cal, I'm gonna lock up the saloon so the raiders don't trash it. I could use an oil bath, she says. Explore Pylon Saloon. The Ramblers Reach Outpost is steadily improving. New shops and activities are available. Things updating over time as we go through the game, dude. Doma's shop and recruit for the outpost. Across the galaxy, Cal can meet new residents who can help improve the outpost. 
okay so you can recruit them and then that'll maybe open up all these like like these doors because they're all red on the map Tell me more about Ugh, nasty armed to the teeth with slice battle droids for backup hmm that's some serious firepower that's not exactly what i want to hear from my escort pal relax you're in safe hands you'll be all right grease if you say so i can hear the who in the background the, uh, there's some music playing on that jukebox um god damn so we can actually we can improve this place over time so bode would have found our transponder we're like hey man you know where we are at and then came looking for us i'm assuming in his z95 which is cool all right let's have a look The Kobo Abyss dominates the space above the eponymous planet. A vast stellar anomaly, its gravitational forces pose a threat to any ship that comes near it, as evidenced by the graveyard of debris strewn nearby. Bode sees Tanalor as the only place left in the galaxy that the Empire can't reach. Throwing in his lot with Cal, Bode becomes a crew member of the Stinger Mantis. The key to Tanalor. Grease pointed uh, Cal to the tunnels beneath the outpost where he stored spare parts for the Mantis. While down there, Cal discovered the ruins of an old structure and a droid from the High Republic era pinned beneath fallen debris. Touching the droid, Cal experienced a vision. Amid a cataclysmic disaster, the Jedi Knight Santara Kree entrusted the droid Z with a tuner device, charging her with saving the lost planet of Tanalor. After saving Z and returning with her to the cantina, Cal found Bode had arrived, seeking payment. Insistent, Z charged Cal with finishing her duty, seeking out the key to Tanalor in the forest array. <clears throat> Thinking there might be something to it, Bo takes Grease to repair the Mantis while Cal and BD set out to the forest. So we won't be leaving just yet. The Republic Tuner device uh, once belonged to and was invented by Centara Kree. Developed in conjunction with her research into the anomalous material of Kobo, it acts as a resonator and activation device. Kree used the tuner to keep personal and classified areas safe from threats on the galactic frontier like the ever unpredictable Nihil Marauders. Uh, so the Nihil, um, I get to actually know something about the High Republic. Um, Nihil are introduced in the first novel, the, the Light of the Jedi. Like Marauders, pirates, like they, they, they're really cool actually. Um, that's a nice little, it's weird seeing High Republic era information in, uh, in the databank like this. But I guess we gotta get used to that. So how is Kobo? You get away from it all like you wanted? Oh, I had to, kid. Away from the Empire, the Haxian brood. Escape all the trouble. Trouble always seems to find us, Grease. Haven't you learned that by now? Ha! <laughs> no kidding. Just like that old droid, huh? You think Z is trouble? Are you chaffing me? She sticks out like potpourri in a pod race. Not that I'm too picky. You meet any more lost souls with sob stories, send them over to Pylon, you hear? Place could use a little trouble. <laughs> Go on. I gotta focus on sussing out your boy here. I wonder if Kobo will have any legends about me. <laughs> Maybe I'll go spread a rumor or two. Amazing. Good to see you landed on your feet, Cal. Oh, hang on. My game just disconnected. Okay. There we go. We're, we're back. Temporary, uh, temporary setback. Okay. Bravo's gone. All right, we're good. Had a feeling. I'm really sorry, Cal. I know how much he meant to you. He was a good friend. They all were. I'll miss him. Definitely not your standard crew. I could tell that from the start. Yeah. Gabs. Yeah, Bravo, the twins. You were close. I understand. Just remember that you're not alone in all this. Glad you're here, Bud. I got your back, brother. All right. First thing, uh, first things first that I did was pause as soon as it disconnected, so I still got the dialogue. Thanks for looking after Grease while I chase down this lead. Twice the arms, twice the fun, right? More like twice the trouble. Ooh, can't wait. Keep an eye on Grease for me, all right? Don't worry, Cal. You handle the mystery in the forest. I'll handle Breeze. You worry about the array, whatever that is. 
We'll handle the mantis. Twice the pride, double the fall. Coming right up, Heritage. Coming right up. Heritage. Something tells me you'd appreciate the soap more after we chat. Strap yourself in. I fear this update might be a little hard to process. Oh, come now. I can bear a little bad news. Spare no detail. Well, where to start? Uh, okay, a few years ago, the Supreme Chancellor decided democracy was out of fashion and declared himself Emperor. The Republic is no more? I'm afraid so. In fact, these days, you'd be hard-pressed to name a planet free from Imperial control. Calamitous indeed. Heritage, you're looking a little low on power. Once say we pause a tick so you can regain your bearings. Yes, perhaps that would be best. The nickname of Heritage, though? Hey, Z, know anything about that forest array? My memory banks are coming up short, Cal, but it is surely the work of Master Kree. How do you know? In her time, she had no equal. There were other scientists and technicians, yes. But all that you see here on Kobo is her work, one way or another. Not now, Cal. Why don't we catch up once you've returned from the forest array? So how long have you known Bo? Not long. We worked together on Coruscant. And what line of work exactly? A little of this, a little of that. I see. Say no more, Cal, say no more. I know when I'm about to step in it. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of a colorful expression from Kalistar. If you stand beneath the Presta Bird nest, rain will come even in the desert. And when the rain comes... You best get out of the way. I love Monk. Cal, let's chat later. Z and I are catching up on the state of the galaxy. I wish those raiders would just leave us alone. Every time they smash things up, I'm the one who's got to fix them. The outpost is lucky to have you. Sure. I just wish I could build something that couldn't be knocked down, that's all. Yeah, me too. Gets lonely patching up the outpost on my own. Be nice if I had a partner. Nice, all right, we can talk to... Kaige? Weird bucket of bolts you dragged in. Well, actually, she's a droid from the High Republic. Don't care. Run along now. I can see why you sit alone. Don't care. Interesting. So we've got music coming out of there, but we can't change it. Oh, wait, what the? Did he just, did you just appear? I swear I didn't even see. I swear I didn't even see you there at all. You really blend into the environment there, buddy. You brought that droid in? Saved her too, huh? Just helped her get back on her feet. And he asked for nothing in return. Well, she did let me hang on to her tuner key. Ooh, a tuner key? What? You found a real one? That's right. Do you think I could maybe... You can't uh... borrow it, Turgle. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Hiya. Listen, friend, what's your name? It's Cal. Moran. Charm. You seem a decent sort, Cal. Look. Maybe you're just the latest fool to get tangled up with the Bedlam Raiders, or maybe you're the real deal. But this place will bleed you dry. Understand? Get out while you can. Noted. Yeah, Moran, a washed-up trader whose best days are behind him. Moran whiles away his hours in a saloon, bemoaning the empire that destroyed his livelihood. I'm interested to get um, that person over there, their data bank entry. Talk later, hmm? Okay. What's up, gonkies? Nice. So we can continue to go back there. Ah, oh, can I go in here now? Uh, music tracks are there, nice. We don't know who can deal with the data disc or the Kobo, uh, the Kobo seed pods. We need to find something. Oh, we just have a back door entrance. Cool. That's the gate Z told us about. Ah. So that's the gate. Nice. Ah. Huh. The same speeder model. 
that we saw in Corazon that Anakin and Obi-Wan use. Love it. I'd love, imagine being able to get a speeder and like just kind of drive around, speed around Kobo for a bit. Well, that answers the questions of a lot of these doors being inaccessible as well. We'll recruit people to come here instead. Um, obtain... Steam upgrade. Oh, yeah. We've already done that. Stables. Cool. We've got the gate. Let's just head to the gate, shall we? And considering we've already been up there before for a little bit of exploration, we can use a shortcut to get straight there. that straight away. Let's take this to Domas. Alright, feeling much better about the green. Feels great. I know what I like. This is where our cable is. Right, let's have a rest at this meditation point. And we've almost got two. Okay, let's go. Almost got two skill points. I'm tempted to switch formations because we haven't really been using the single one uh, at all. I'm always tempted to switch to double bladed and dual wield. Maybe just for a little bit. Use the dual wield for some, uh, our normal one. And then have the double blade for, um, crowd control situations. Yeah, we know um, we know that the single blade is more power and range, but we get more speed, more defense. We'll fuck with that for a bit. Because it is very satisfying to look at. Here's a shortcut I prepared earlier. With some troopers. These raiders are keeping the Empire at bay. At least they're good for something. Nice. So this is what Ravis wanted, right? I'm assuming we would most likely have uh, the raiders on our trail after this. We're able to shut the door behind us. The array should be out here somewhere. The only way forward is to cut through. Ooh. What's going on here? You catch that too, BD? We're not alone out here. Whoa, we're being watched. I get the feeling we're being watched. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> Try my best. Maybe we'll go this way instead. Bringing this down. Gathamir Red. Is there a point of that? Good to go, BD. Let's try that again. Yes. Some of these rock columns are loose. 
basalt pillars. Huge pillars of brittle heavy rock populate the basalt forest. Seismic activity deep beneath the planet's crust unroot these stone trees, forcing the structures to erupt in their fully grown form. While the stone is no longer growing, its porous surface provides a scaffolding for rudimentary organic life forms to take root. Scholars refer to these structures as stone sentinels. Under some specific lighting conditions, the green actually does look quite nice. Looks a little bit better than the one in, in Fallen Order. The Fallen Order one never looked that right to me. And maybe I'm just con trying to convince myself it looks good. I might just be crazy. But we'll see. Glowing blue before. It is glowing. It is. It is glowing blue. I can't do anything about it. Am I crazy? There's definitely like this weird blue effect happening there. Like it looks like it could be a wall that you could like force push or pull or something, but nothing's happening when I look at it straight on. It's a weird graphical what thing. What do you think this array is, buddy? There's definitely a weird blue thing. Z seems to think so too. Only one way to find out. Hmm. They saw us. Let's move. So here's the funny thing. The it's always like this situation where it's like, ah, there's this gate that you have to access to get through to this next area. But then it's like there are people that I just have access to ships and then they can just fly over it and explore around this area without the need for ancient keys. And they can go and check that out. For example. Okay. We're due for a run-in with the Empire again. It's been some time. I like the mix-up of like getting a breath of fresh air from the Empire and taking on um, a bunch of uh, B1 and B2 droids. Ah, look at that beautiful texture work over there. The way that all of these columns and pillars are structured on the ground like this... Um, and how we're navigating all these ruins makes me think of like Halo Infinite a lot. The way that the broken Halo ring uh, looks has a lot of this similar structural stuff to it and how it's like repairing itself with, with platforms. any more than we do oh my god stormtroopers versus battle droids i was trying to take a look at the um i was going to check out listen to the conversations but they interrupted you bastard They must escape have this drop pod all the way from the Lucre Hulk. Ooh, escape pod. A drop pod from a Lucre Hulk class battleship used to transport battle droids and other separatist forces to the field during the Clone Wars. Destination coordinates typically ensure safe landings, but this pod was overridden and fired in the general area of the basalt rift. A shield trooper. They're deployed wherever the Empire needs to put down insurrections. They are armed with batons and heavy shields, and there are few insurgents who can penetrate their defenses or stand against their brutal strike.
Let's get a drop on these bucket heads. I can't get the... I wanted to get the other one. Why can't he hit him? The fuck? His attacks just went straight through him. Weird. Generations of Raka raised their young here. Then the Empire tore through, shot and trampled anything that got in their way. Same story, different planet. Rocker are aggressive, belligerent creatures, never more so than defending their nests. This forest variant incubates their eggs for a dozen Kobo moon cycles, and each member defends the clutch as if it was their own. This generation of eggs, however, did not survive the planet's harsh realities. being watched. Just use the force. Just a bit too late. <coughs> what is it, buddy? Bile Moore's Revenge. They have a notoriously bad temper, often trampling, crushing, or pulverizing those caught in their rampage. Even trained Imperial soldiers stand little chance against a Bile Moore defending its den. pants all right we'll get the full hunter set and uh get our kratos going our god of war ragnarok set we can actually have that pauldron there's that little set at doma's shop that's like the pauldron we just need to be able to have cal uh remove his shirt completely just take the take the full shirt off for the full extent of the pauldron I don't know why I thought that was a grapple. I don't know, but like, I genuinely was like, that's totally going to be a grapple to climb on the wall. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that's cool though. I like that. Oh. Oh, actually. Oh my god, it's taken me until right now to realize that we don't have the, like, the, the stasis force power. Right? Do we not? Yeah, because that's, that's for focus, which is like being able to do confuse and companion attacks and stuff with RB. Whereas it used to be, obviously, like, pause this fan or slow time on enemies and it isn't until this exact moment where this is on a timer where my brain goes oh just freeze it and then I just remember that we just don't have that force ability at all I guess Cal decided to 
hang that ability up, even though it's a very useful one. Even before she was damaged, there's no way Z could have made this journey. Of course, back in Kree's day, there was no Empire to contend with, but I would give to see a glimpse of that galaxy. Z would have been able to make this journey probably back in the day, before it was all fucked up at least. Oh, uh... Easy, easy. I'm not looking for trouble. Okay. I'm just here to pet the boggling. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. What are these? Risk and research. There's enough rations and supplies here to sustain a rigorous multi-day journey. Various scientific instruments and cartography tools were also laboriously packed for this trip. Who are you? Toa. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Ah, oh, Mother of Moons, that's a relief. I'm useless in a fight. Came to see that incredible High Republic structure. Didn't expect to have to fight off beasts with my field journal. Sorry, rambling. Bad habit. D I'm Toa, by the way. I'm Cal. This is BD-1. Listen, the Empire is not going to be happy to find you out here. Why don't you head back to the Reach? I think I will take you up on that. Recruitment, let's go. You get a good look at that structure? Only enough to see there's no way I'm getting inside. But we're lucky. It looks intact. If I'm right, it's been out here for centuries. Maybe you'd have better luck than I did. It's right up ahead. Thanks for the tip. What's the best place to get a drink in the Reach? I hear Pailoon Saloon is the spot to beat. I was afraid you'd say that. One day, someone will open up another cantina. <laughs> Sorry, Grease. We tried, buddy. Nice shortcut. Well done, team. We're shooting at a spy droid. Someone else has eyes out here. Maybe the Raiders. Hmm. Keep your eyes peeled. The Jedi's been spotted nearby. Don't say that. I I'm not ready for combat. Then get ready. <laughs> Amazing. Let's try not to end up like that guy. Oh, what? What? Is this a non... Non-Hoth variant of a Wampa? Oh my god. Give me a tip. Holy shit, dude. Oh, I was just a little bit too late in the air. Oh my god. This, he fucking hits hard. Uh, I can see why we've got a shortcut to the meditation point. Oh. Oh god, that was lucky. Nice. Oh, what an execution. Dude. It's a Wampa, but like a Bigfoot style Mogu. <clears throat> the Mogu is a violent predator known for stalking and aggressively assaulting its prey. <clears throat> Creatures akin to Mogu can be found on planets of varying climate, but their temperament remains largely unchanged. They will seek to grab and slam their targets, lifting and tossing them around. Yet even when injured, a Mogu will not relent. Dude, if uh, if the Wampa went for Luke in the same ferocity that that Mogu came for us, there would be no, uh, there would be no Skywalker saga. <laughs> Luke would have got fucking mopped that must up. Be another one of those High Republic chambers. Luke would have gotten his arms torn off. That's hilarious. You gotta count himself lucky. Luke got that plot armor. That is great. So we've got planetary variants of um, 
Wampa, which is cool. Is this where we're supposed to be going? I guess that's where we're supposed to be going, yeah. So this is just bonus. Hello there, what have we here? A door that actually opens for us automatically for a chain chain. <clears throat> Before we do that. The array's close. Just a forest full of beasts and Imperials to get through first. Forest array. Damn, we'd be finding these steam canisters left, right, and center, dude. Let's hope we don't need it. I'll take it, though. The cool thing about what finding a stim canister is it fully replenishes all of your lost stims. <coughs> Lucky us. What is going on in here? Rift passage. be like a shortcut back to the retreat maybe All right, let's have a look I might put some points in double bladed hold X to deal fast stri strikes um, maybe an increase to the force increases force recovery when using precision of bade Might just increase our force. Lucid achievement. Let's move. Another one of those, and another one of those. Both things that we can't even interact with yet. We haven't figured out there what we need for those, but stuff. Looks like a data disk. Okay, cool. Guess the platform isn't here. Oh. Is it down or up? Up. Ooh, okay. Cool. Guess we'll uh, be up there at some point. That grapple's so good. Look at that hair. <laughs> Amazing. What do you say, buddy? Up for a little detour? Oh, dude. Look at that little sprint move. Will you sprint and attack with a double blade? Oh, that spin been robbing myself of cool acrobatical moves right here. Look at that. That's amazing. All right. Let's see where this takes us. Further down into the depths. Who'd have thought that on uh, Kobo of all places that Grease decides to settle down it turns out to be a High Republic related planet. A very important looking one at that. Very Cree. Ooh. The path that we must walk is not always immediately visible to us. Only through patience, careful thought, and the wisdom of the Force will the way appear. 
Cal receiving indirect Jedi lessons and training from a long since dead High Republic era Jedi master would never be on my bingo card, ever. But I love it. I think that's awesome. That's so cool. It's been a tremendous amount of work that goes into having to sort of decide and and, and like um, factor in the, the 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 visual aesthetic of the High Republic as well. Very cool. I've never known Santari Creed to shook from a challenge. No, and she seems exceptionally driven by this particular task. Just heard another Matt Mercer as a Jedi. Two Republic Jedi muse on Centauri Kree and her aims. They seem particularly impressed by her zeal for this mission. Cool. Ah. Okay. So, they believe something is behind the abyss? That's right. A planet. Well, I hope it's worth all this effort. Talk of the future. They discuss the burgeoning abyss project and whether its success will merit the current investment into Kobo. So it's a whole, like, sort of, uh, project into discovering this planet in the abyss. Gotcha. Um, I guess we want to move that there because that one's busted. And that'll get us across there. Okay. I guess that's that for now. And we need to look for one of these bad boys. Can I, like take that can I what happens if I I'm assuming it'll reset Do you reckon that will I can get it over there oh. it does go back if you fail though and you can move it and make multiple However, you need like a lever or something to actually do it. Oh, okay, that takes us there. Interesting. Can I pull it from here? Too, a bit too far. I can push this lever. to get another one. Jedi orb training. Busted. Okay. And then it looks like I can take that one out from here. this do then? Oh, neat. Okay. Dave. 
can't end. Uh, what's the point of this? Okay. No. I can figure this out. Gregarious Padawan. Trying to think their way out of a puzzle becomes briefly frustrated. Is impatient. Weren't we all once? The question is, how will he overcome it? In good time, they discuss their struggling student and the nature of growth. Hmm. Okay. There's a chest in there. Another another one of these chests. Somehow tucked away in an ancient High Republic era temple. Just just make like a High Republic themed box. Like have it literally be almost exactly the same in appearance, just like with some gold on it or some shit. It doesn't seem that hard to me. Do I throw it like over there to get it into the thing? Because there's a hole at the top. I think when it goes, when the color is purple, you know that it's going to actually fit in. <coughs> oh, well, I've just dropped it. All right, good thing it goes back to there. Will it just, it's not purple, but I'm scared that it'll just get stuck in there. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, nice, it worked. But it wasn't purple. I took a gamble and it worked. Nice. Oh, a new lightsaber emitter. Cool. Okay. And then. You gotta be careful, because I'll fucking trap myself in there. Nice. Because it shuts both those gates, doesn't it? <laughs> gotta be careful not to trap yourself in a room. Let that be a wise Jedi lesson for you. Is it possible for me to grab that one? Oh, that's cool. Nice. Dexterity perk. Rumor completed. Okay, um, let's have a look at that perk. Ah, oh, we should have equipped one before, shouldn't we? At a meditation point. Lightsaber throws do more damage. Well, we can't equip that at the moment. Okay, this is how we can get. That's where we came from. Wait, was that it? Have I completed it already? I swear there's, there, there's something else. Yeah, I gotta do something up here. It's not done yet. Is it when it said rumor complete? Wait. Um, we want to get this one. And I'm assuming that's why we can return here. Give me this, and then throw it over there. Will that, will that work? Will that reach? Ooh. 
I just, can I put it through here? I think it's too small. Maybe I can take it over. Maybe I can, can I get it to land on that platform? That doesn't seem that doesn't seem right. Ah, oh, just hit the edge. I don't know if that's gonna... I don't know if I even need that. I'm assuming this is just a, a nice quick and easy exit. But I was just pulling it up just in case it, I needed like an extra one. Let's see if we actually need an extra one if I'm wasting my time. Yeah, this might just be the exit. Let's go over here. Music is so good in this place, too. Oh. A secret meeting. Scratchy writing on the wall written in a hastily and easily translated childish cipher. Meet at the usual place later. Cute. It just comes right... Oh, okay, so I could have just grabbed that. Looks old. So you might want to take a look at this. Oh. I think that was... Yeah, I think that was it. <clears throat> Hang on, there's something here. Undiscovered area. Just this? This is the undiscovered area. Ah, yes. Okay. That was confusing. I was like, there's still more in here. No. It, there's just a wall running segment. Okay. And then a wall climbing segment. Gotcha. So I did not need that bonus one after all. And then when it said rumor complete, that was just because we got the upgrade at the end. So that was the end. Nobody saw that. Lovely. Okay, so there's ones that are just like these chambers. So they've decided to add Breath of the Wild vaults to the game. I love it. Breath of the Wild vaults. <laughs> Change my mind. Tell me that it's not that. Because it's definitely that. <laughs> nice. Alright. And with that complete and being back outside in the Basalt Rift, we're heading to the forest. What's it, what was it called? Heading to the, the forest place. Forest place. Uh, forest array. That's where we'll be heading. We're heading there next time. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Jedi Survivor. Hope you're having as great a time as I am. I'm really, really loving this game, and I can't wait to see how it's going to continue. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.